Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting SQL question. So this was asked in an Odan SQL interview. Very interesting question. I found it good. Very realistic. Okay. So here's the question. There is a business city table, right? So business city table has data from the day Odan has started operation. So they have business date and city ID. So basically on each day in which city they did their operations. So in 2020, if you see, they have done operations in two cities. In 2021, two more cities, right? So the question is, write a SQL to identify year-wise count of new cities where Udan started their operations. So year-wise, we want to know in which, how many new cities they started operation. So 2020 is the first year. So both cities are new cities. So two. Now in 2021, if you see three, they have done operations already in 2022. So only new cities, city ID 19. So there is only one new city. Now in 2022, if you see, they have done operations twice in city three, which they have done already, right? In 20 and 21 also. So there is again only one new city where they started operation in 2022. So this is what we want in output, right? So this is my input table. This is my output table. So now if you see how to approach this problem, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to put description in description box, insert and create. You can also try and let me know if you have a better solution. But in these kind of questions, we have to look into this table itself. So when I'm looking at 2021, I have to look at 2020, right? That which cities are there. So it is a clear case of cell join, right? When I join this table with this table itself, then only I can check that in previous years, what has happened, right? So let's start. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take year out of the date because I'm not interested in exact dates. We just have to check year wise, right? So what I will do, I'll say date part. This is the date part function. I want year from business date. as business year let's say right and then city id from business city and let's see what is there okay so we got business year so far it is clear nothing problem so what i'm going to do because i have to do cell join i will just create a with clause with ct as this okay. now what i have to do i have to select from ct right i will say it c1 left join ct c2 now i'm going to tell you what we have to do so this is my driving driving table ct c1 i am saying and c2 is the second one so i will say c1 dot business year this is my joint condition right i will tell you why i am doing left join also just focus next two three minutes okay you will be clear how cell joins are used and you can then solve any cell join problem equal greater than c2 dot business year and c1 dot city id equal to c2 dot city id i will run this and show you what we are getting so i will take c1 dot star and c2 dot star just look at this data and then you will understand what i am trying to do okay so what i am saying there is this c1 I am saying C1 business year should be greater than C2 business year. So this is my C1 and this is C2. Now when I am 2020, right? And when I am saying business year greater than C2 business year, so there will be nothing, right? Because 2020 is the first year, right? So there will be nothing less than 2022. I hope you are understanding it. I am saying C1 dot business year greater than C2 dot business year, right? So when I'm doing self join, the 2022 is the first year itself. So, so there is nothing which is less than 2020, right? So this condition will 
not satisfy at all since it is a left join so data will come from c1 right so these two rows are coming from c1 for 2022 and for c2 both are null because there is nothing less than 2020 is my first year and i am saying that c2 business year should be less than c1 business year right so 2019 is not there so it is null let's move on to 21 when 21 if you see there is 2020 and city id 3 right in 2020 we had city id 3 so that got joined and for 19 i have joined city id also right so 3 of 2021 and 3 of 2020 got joined because 2021 c1 dot 2021 is greater than c2 dot 2020 right so this got joined now 19 is again new so this is not joined again this is null now in 2022 again if you see it has joined with 2021 both of c2 because three is there in both the tables but for 12 it is null right it means wherever these values are null those cities are new for that year right i hope this is clear so what i will say i'll just say c1 dot business year i just need c1 dot business year right comma count of days when c2 dot business year or city id anything i can take let's take city id is null right when c2 dot city id is null then take city id c1 dot city id right so those city ids from c1 are new so in this case these two are new right in this case 19 is new in this case 12 is new so i'm saying when c2 dot city id is null then c1 dot city id right and and i will take a count of this right now there can be two operations right in a same city and for the first year so i will do distinct in this data there is no problem but i have to do distinct right and group by business year because i need to get count group by business year right as number of new cities let's run it and see if we get output or not yes we got the output so there are two cities in 2020 new cities in 21 new cities one and 2022 new city one so if you understand this problem you can solve any cell join question right it is very very important to understand how this greater than conditions works and you have to understand where you have to do equal to condition where you have to do greater than or less than right i hope this makes sense do put your solution if you have a better solution i would love to see like this video so that maximum people can understand cell join and subscribe to my channel if you have not thanks for watching have a good day let's rock